Okay, good morning. Week seven in our eight-week format. Um, just a couple of things to go over. This won't be a long lecture because there are so many things to read in uh, your content folder this week. So I won't belabor the point. Um, and I'll let you get straight to the resources for that learning. But I did want to go over the assignments this week. Um, you have a particularly uh, heavily weighted paper uh, that we've been talking about, um, your final portfolio paper. I want to make sure that everybody's good to go on that. Uh, as I was saying, the resources for this week are at the top of your content folder. Um, there's a, a video and uh, um, quite a few articles to read uh, that, that discuss this concept of uh, tokenization um, and the various protocols that, uh, um, that support that concept. So I'll let you get to that for the discussion, uh, which has you discussing a couple of different uh, tokens, I mean, um, protocols and, and um, yeah, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, and, um, for these specific, you know, I, I, I don't pick the assignments nor the discussion posts. Those are standard across every section. Uh, so there's like 10 different uh, sections going on of, uh, of this class. Um, so to maintain uh, standardization um, among all PhD students taking this class, we, we keep them the same. And this one is a little specific. It doesn't leave a whole lot of room for discussion. So you won't see me uh, telling you to be conversational and whatnot, uh, as I might have in the past. Um, although that'll change in the final week, uh, week eight, you'll see we're going to discuss uh, dissertation topics and dissertation preparation, um, which is a change from previous uh, courses sections. So anyway, there's your week seven discussion, kind of dry, but there you go. Just knock it out and get your 25 points. But most importantly, um, this week you have a uh, final portfolio paper that wraps up the blockchain portion of this course um, to look at uh, here from the instructions. Really, there's one sentence of instructions. Search the internet, okay, uh, and uh, you know, uh, a Google Scholar is also on the internet. <laughs> Your library databases are on the internet, so uh, this doesn't mean just uh, uh, search Facebook, but it does. It does open it up, and as I've said uh, multiple times, you will very often find the most interesting, uh, speculative um, pieces, articles uh, uh, on the internet, on practitioner sites and whatnot, um, uh, or, or the blogs of thought leaders in, in blockchain. Um, so yeah, uh, emerging concepts is what you're shooting for. Uh, and the instruction says uh, six to eight pages, but four good pages will suffice for me. Um, I would rather see less pages that are tight and focused on your topic and not just random, long, wordy nonsense to fill up space, um, which I'm still seeing a lot so shorten the paper and make it a good read uh for me and 200 points everybody see that 200 points 20 percent of your course grade and uh and yeah they pack it into these eight week formats and there's nothing to be done about that if you pack it in then you gotta pack it in to eight weeks okay uh, next bullet, strict APA format. Now that's strict for me. <laughs> I have been letting uh, you guys get away with uh, um, 
just a lot of uh, poor APA formatting. Okay, so I've posted a template paper. The internet is jam packed with APA seventh edition examples. I've posted a, a template paper in the class announcements. I posted a quick reference guide. Um, it did have like one font number. I don't, I don't download the Word document and highlight the font. Um, I look at the preview of uh, of your papers which is where I can make comments. Um, and it, it doesn't necessarily show me the, the font number, whether it's, you know, 11 pitch or 12 pitch, you know? So uh, there was one, thank you. Uh, one, one student uh, pointed that out that the, um, I think it was the Times New Roman font was wrong anyway. Uh, but that quick reference guide that I posted in the class announcement had a other good, um, parts of it, especially headings, um, headings, headers are at the top of your page. Headings are within your text. And I'm still seeing people putting a colon, a left justified heading and a colon at the end. And that's coming off of course hero or something. That's not, those are old papers. It's never been the right format. But I see a lot of students using that format, um, and, and it's too many for you to be making it up. So you're getting that from somewhere, which is dangerous, because if the headings are wrong, the content's probably wrong, and you need to write your own papers. I think it's safe to say that um, any issues with this paper are going to be a disastrous. So. Uh, start with an outline, write your own paper, and use APA format. Uh, the, the levels of headings are in that template paper, and they're in the quick reference guide, and they're all over the internet. <coughs> you know, for goodness sake, indent your paragraphs. This is, uh, you know, just this basic stuff I look for. Your, your reference page is a separate page. Put a page break before references. References is centered. Uh, the, these are just, you know, super, super simple parts. There's, it gets way more complicated as you approach your dissertation in the way your references are formatted, um, and, and, uh, tables and figures and whatnot, and they're very specific. So, um, at least get the basics going. Um, uh, the, the rubric talks about expectations. Well, I expect at this point that you guys would use a template paper, if nothing else. I mean, come on. So there you go. APA format. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's a PhD course, guys. Doesn't get any better than this. Doesn't get any bigger than this. Um, next bullet. Instructions say blockchain and big data. Now, words count, right? You've, you've been with me the entire semester and you've you've heard me say uh um write to the instructions so um this could should be interpreted as an interaction between blockchain and big data but i i don't i don't see the blockchain itself necessarily as a big data and uh, exercise. It's big, but it's not big data, uh, but it could be. Um, so if you choose to do that, uh, um, emerging concepts are exploring the use of blockchain and big data together as a compound concept, blockchain and big data. Uh, okay, that's great, but feel free to split the required five emerging concepts between blockchain or big data. Blockchain, you could do like two emerging concepts of blockchain and three emerging concepts of big data. See how that, how that would work? 
And if you do this, put a, a level one, uh, you know, the bold centered uh, heading, you know, uh, emerging concepts of blockchain. And then you would need another separate uh, level one heading further below emerging concepts of big data. And then subsequently, you'd have level two headings that would say emerging concept of da 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 da. There you go. So um, if you don't understand what I'm talking about with the organization of this paper uh, or and the choice of doing it either exactly <clears throat> as the instructions say with five emerging concepts and those should all be clearly organized with headings. Those five concepts should all have a heading. Uh, if you don't understand what I'm looking for, just shoot me an email early in the week, not, not anywhere near Sunday. Uh, you guys should all be watching this on Monday, Tuesday at the latest. Uh, I should be getting questions um, uh, Wednesday at the latest. Um, so 20% of your grade, guys, be on it. And I'll be focusing my attention on originality because I'm still dealing with folks turning stuff in copied from the internet uh, and organization. And organization uh, is for the entire paper from the top level down to the bottom. I look at organization at, 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 at multiple levels of thought. So that includes your organization from your major headings and subsections. Uh, I look for um, a clear thesis sentence. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of papers are, are missing that. Uh, we learned about what a thesis sentence was in, uh, I don't know, when we were teenagers. Uh, a clear thesis sentence, and then every paragraph uh, needs a topic sentence. What If I'm reading a, your paragraph and I ask you, what's this paragraph about? Um, that's bad. That is bad. Bad writing, bad PhDs. Um, have a topic sentence and then stay cohesive to that main uh, topic in your paragraph and, and avoid the temptation to insert random thoughts uh, um, and repeating yourself. Don't repeat yourself. Once you've made a point, you've made that point. Uh, I, I, many of you have seen me say, why are you saying this again? You've already said this. Um, so that's what I'll be looking for. I, I'm looking for you guys to start to be writing at, at no kidding, writing at the right level now. Um, now, I won't be scrutinizing you, you know, whether I agree that you've picked the five most important emerging concepts. Uh, I, I, I won't, but you need to uh, succinctly describe the emerging concept and, and why you're writing about it. Who, who says? Who says it's come up, up and coming? Why is it? Uh, uh, why is it an emerging concept? Why does anybody care? Um, and and like I said, four pages of content. You know, you need a title page and you need a reference page. But four pages of content, including your conclusion paragraph, um, should be good enough to cover these these five emerging concepts. Um, and as always, you know six or eight references, um, but I'm looking for this. If I have to highlight something and say, I don't know what that means or, or what does that mean? As many, many, many of you have, have seen in feedback, um, something's wrong. Um, choose all of your words yourself. Um, and make sure that you are telling the story. You are leading your reader through to a conclusion um, without wild topic changes, um, uh, which in writing is called an abrupt 
transition. Um, and, and you'll be fine with this paper. 200 points, 20% of your grade. Originally, originality, organization, and as I was saying, APA format. All right. Any questions? Uh, please email me earlier than later. Thank you very much.